Hey everyone, it's Glum3. And Shrek Fan02. And welcome back to Phoenix Wright. In the last part, we entered our first day of court in the second trial, and now we're going to continue with our first witness, who is. Oh, we'll see in a second. She's as scary as her father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Oh, it's Gumshoe again. Poor Fitness, Gumshoe. what's your name and occupation? Yes, sir, my name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct. Ah! Get to the point already. Bye. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Yes, sir. Um, if everyone would please look at this map. It's not very what well. What is that? Not very well drawn. It's an abstract map. Uh, the channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, the only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Uh, they uh, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Ch channeling a spirit? The look of disbelief on the judge's face is... Ahem. Anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. VK. That spells Von Karma. <laughs> Guilty! I love how this is literally the most open and shut case possible, yeah. and they're still... Oh, and that's when they found that the victim was already dead, correct? Okay, I need to pay attention, because we actually need to solve this. <laughs> Hmm, I believe this is one of the most, yeah, open and shut cases I've ever presided over. Four pants, ate it to the court record. I am Lobot. So, how was the victim killed? Hmm. I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. This is a colossal waste of time. Cause of death. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. I thought it was two shots or something. The shot was fired from a point-blank range. Oh no, there was a knife also. Yeah. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hmm. Hmm. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. Autopsy report. Yeah. The court accepts it into evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. All right. Questioning time. Cause of death. Okay. All right, let's just look at our evidence real quick to get a refresher. So we got our badge, the newspaper clipping, um, the map. Which is probably, it's gonna come into play at some point. That we can't use. Floor plans, which we just looked at. There's definitely there's gonna be something about um that we found a we found a bullet hole in the screen. Yes. But like that would mean the bullet had to come from the other side, but the body died on the left. If that yeah. yeah. So that was something I noticed when I was editing that I was like, that's weird. Um Autopsy report. Being stabbed in the chest, shot in the forehead, point blank. My all important badge. Okay. Mm. That makes sense. The shot was fired from point blank range, that yeah. Um, let's just press on some of this stuff, then. Stabbed. And what was he stabbed with? A spoon. A, a fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, my face fingerprints are all over it. Hmm. All over it, huh? Erk. This does not look good. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Alright! <laughs> What will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Murder. Um. Okay, murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off. Do we have any proof about the order they happened in? Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yep. Sure as sure can be. One we'll look at the wounds and you come to the same conclusion, too, pal. A fool is a fool who will only <laughs> listen to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. I kinda like this fun karma. <laughs> a pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantly. Unless... Does it matter then, which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Burr. Ugh, what a pain. Nothing sounds out of place so far. I should try to learn more about the murder weapons for now. Oh, um, okay. Let's look at- oh wait, we have- no, this is all we have. 
We don't have anything about the weapons. Um, okay. Press. The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe. Whose pistol was it? Good question. It was the victim's. The victim. Now, why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? Sustain. The point that you are missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. Unless there was a struggle. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victims. The defendant, Maya Faze, were also on the grip, sir. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Hmm. I walked right into her hands there. Uh. Do we press this one? Hold it. Point blank, huh? So how- about how far away was it? It was anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? <laughs> wow. Simply step Phoenix, right? I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools <laughs> of this foolish country. Uh, excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn? When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder explodes what makes a bullet fire. And that gets real hot, pal. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess, after all these years of doing cases just like this. That's enough! We have clearly established that the victim was murdered. <laughs> wow. I, I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Hmm, oh yes, very well. The court accepts them into evidence. I don't see how that's related at all. Okay. Oh, awesome. At least they have more to work with now. The date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15pm. Precisely the time most schools get out. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard two gunshots at this time. And the two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them. Hmm, you sure seem like an open and shut case, like I said before. Okay. Hmm, naturally. Meh. This is going from bad to worse. As if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there is no room left for doubt, is there? The quickest case in Phoenix history. That is quite true, Mr. Wright. Y yes Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See, just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you would change your plea in less than ten minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justified self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I better think this through all the way. Do it. Wait. Um. Whoa, whoa, I am not guilty. Are you, I can't even tell. I can't tell by your face if you're being sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. Okay. Yeah. I think we should go not guilty then. Yes. Why not? If we plead justified self-defense, we would basically be confessing to a murder. Well, not. After the trial, Maya's life would be destroyed and she'd be labeled as a murderer. That's not really true <laughs> at all, <laughs> but okay. I can't let that happen. Could you imagine if someone defended themselves and were just like, what a murderer? <laughs> Your Honor, have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of complete acquittal. Wow. Oh wait, yeah, Mia told us to do that, that's why. <laughs> you... You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright, detective. I think that was too different. Oh, de <laughs> detective! <laughs> yes, sir! Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Your... Uh, yes, sir. Now, see here. Proceedings are run by... Ah! Oh, yes, of course. Go ahead, detective, and give your... ...about the piece of... the other piece of incriminating evidence. I love how they always just keep incriminating evidence, like, withheld. Yeah. Incriminating evidence. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. Is it? Mm. As you can see, it's covered in blood. 
The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. What is your proof? <laughs> There's no evidence Blood. of that. Blood. <laughs> Blood does certainly prove it, so this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of a back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links my fate to the crime, sir. Hmm, yes, yes indeed. I believe anything you say. You've never been wrong. Countless times before. All right, Mr. Wright. Maya's fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood spatters on her clothes. Could this situation get any worse? You also walked in and saw her covered in blood and tell you that yeah. she did the murder, but... Ha! What's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think that this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to sulk off with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix, right? Please stop calling me by the full name. It's disturbing. Don't make fun of my tail. Cross-examination. Alright. Uh, even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. See if we have anything to go against that. Oh, well, you know, there are the pictures that Lada has, but we don't have those yet. Mm. I'm sure she'll appear. Um, okay. Covered in blood. Let's press that. This blood on the costume. Lab results show that it's the victim's blood. Guilty! So there's blood from the victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. Uh, mm, were there any other clues you could glean from this piece of evidence? Uh, well... Doesn't it glean with an N? Did it say? It said, it said with an M. Yeah, no, that's no, weird. If you must change the topic, then the good detective here must testify again. Yeah, there are some typos in this clues translating a lot of text. But too bad. Not enough time. <laughs> time to move on. Uh, since I guess I'm Yes, the judge. Mrs. Bob Cobb, I'm in charge. It's perfectly correct. Ugh, now even the judge is on her side. But if I bite off more than I can chew here, what should I do? Press further. Doi. When has it ever been bad to press further? Why is Mrs. Von Car not or not Mrs. Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. There must be a clue somewhere on this costume. I just have to look harder. Ugh, Mr. Wright. Mrs. Von Cobber's logic is perfect. There is no way for you to poke a hole in it. Ugh, looks like my time is up. So about that costume. There is one little, I don't know. Sure, why not? <laughs> Your Honor. Actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about, pal? Where is this problem you are talking about? I've come this far. There's no turning back now. Uh, the problem I have with this piece of evidence is here. What's this? That? Yeah, what? Oh, is that a bullet hole somehow? That sure. Sense. Sure. Bullet hole. Look at these pixels, sir. I asked the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? Oh, there's a tiny hole here. Uh, a hole? But that wasn't in the report. Hold on. What's this around the hole? It, it smells faintly of gunpowder. Are you smelling it? <laughs> gunpowder? No one ever told me. A hole that smells of gunpowder. Hmm, seems unrelated to the case. It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Ha! Uh, Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make is that it must be a bullet hole. I guess. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Order, order, order! This is a very grave matter. It's best we correct the court record first before anything else is most important. My ass costume updated in the coin ranker and everything. Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. <gasps> it, is she actually smiling? What else is she hiding? Pull yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony. That's just now was a fluke. Nothing more. Objection! I say. H how can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. Well, I agree it's a mistake. It is a mistake on the part of the police. What Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. 
If you not find a more definitive problem with the evidence, then... N no way! Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. Why is this judge the worst? Yes, sir. Alright. Wait. How did that help us? Did we just... I don't know. Because we just... Have it in here now? Okay, well, it's... Okay, well, yeah, we can say... Was fighting back, because there's a hole in the... Yeah. I could just present. First, I'm gonna press it. He wasn't fighting back? How do you know if he was or wasn't? We can find no evidence that the victim put up any sort of a struggle, pal, besides the thing we just talked about three seconds ago. Hmm. So did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around this murder changed drastically. Ugh. We're in real trouble now. If only it had something to prove that the victim did fight back. Okay. That Von Karma, she thinks she can decide the verdict with this testimony alone. I have to somehow find a critical contradiction, and then I'll have her. Okay. So I think that is kind of... Uh... Where did it... Oh, here. Okay, let's present the... thingy. Derp! Objection! Detective Dick Gumshoe. Y yes Just call me Gumshoe. Hey, having you call me by my full name is kind of a weird feeling. Weird how I said that before he said that. <laughs> You said that my client killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you police overlooked supposed to mean? Eh, uh, um, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. Is this what it means to not fight back? Uh, ah, you're right. It would seem that way. If the victim tried to shoot the defendant, then it would change everything. Everything! Alright, the wind seems to be shifting. Ha! What is with that, are you finished yet, laugh? Are you finished yet, <laughs> Mr. Phoenix, right? Miss Von Karma! It seems that my affair was shot at by the victim. However, that is only grounds enough to support a justified self-defense plea. Burr? That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense clearly said. They rejected justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty. <gasps> uh, now that you... Why, that's right! What you... This is not... Which means... Legal. <laughs> The defense has yet to prove anything at all. No! Phoenix, please stop. Well, yes, that's true. Furthermore, just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to su substantiate even the plea of justified self-defense. Oh? How so? Ah! Don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpires that day. Alright, I think that we have had a long enough part here. Yes. In the next part, we will find out what transpired that day, even though we've apparently been hearing that mm. <laughs> for the entire case. So you guys then... Oh wait, we need a comment question. What is the most ridiculous thing that a Phoenix Wright character has done in court that they should not be allowed to do in court? <laughs> like, smoking or whipping the judge or bringing a camera? Put that in the comments. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.